Hi, and welcome to twoquestions.tv. I'm your host, Susan Marancini Mo. So today I have two questions for myself. One is, how do you stay so energetic? And the other is, um, what are the things that you recommend for other people to stay energetic? Okay, so how do you stay so energetic? Okay, I'm not actually that energetic. <laughs> um, or I don't feel like it right now. Today I feel like I have a lot of energy and that's a good thing. But um, a little history of me, um, last September I had hip surgery for something, just to correct something that I'd had uh, that my body did when I was a teenager, just that it made a little extra bone. And so uh, it was causing me a lot of pain more and more over the years. And so it did create some other problems. Uh, it had created some other problems for me. And um, so I decided to have it fixed. And so I had hip surgery last fall. And I kind of, because of the pain, hadn't been exercising as much leading into that. Um, so then this spring, when I thought I was going to get back to exercise, I got GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is basically, without getting into too much depth, it's just pain, pain here, just all, just so much pain. Oh, my throat hurts, so much pain. Uh, so I didn't really exercise because of that. So. Um, in addition, because of the GERD, uh, and I won't get too deep in that because you, you can Google it. It's, it's just not fun. Um, but what I decided to do was change, make a lot of lifestyle changes. So my doctor said, okay, standard diet changes. You have to give up spicy foods and acidic foods, things like citrus fruits, tomatoes. Um, and you also want to give up caffeine and alcohol because those actually make, uh, the, um, valve at the top of the stomach weaken. They, they kind of temporarily. So caffeine's out, alcohol's out, spicy foods are out, um, and fats are out because they tend to irritate the stomach and the, the whole situation as well. <laughs> so I did a lot of self-education as well. I, I looked into what foods are pH tested to be acidic. So not this alkaline diet where you eat, you know, drink lemon juice to try to alkalinize your system, but actually foods that are tested for, for their pH levels to be alkaline foods because I wanted to put those in my system and avoid acidic foods as much as possible because my system was just too acidic at the time. So I did that. Um, I cut out all caffeine. And if you've ever read my blog at businessandbluejeans.com or susanbarancinimo.com, those links will be in the uh, notes for today. But, um, but I've talked about both coffee and yerba mate, which is a tea-like drink. But when I met my husband, um, I really, really started to drink it a lot. Now, it's funny because he is Uruguayan. He doesn't drink yerba mate unless he's feeling particularly homesick. Um, but he, you know, I, I, there was something about it I really enjoyed, and I developed a palate for it. And uh, when we went to Uruguay the last time, um, last fall, uh, to visit the family, they we were just talking, and my husband was like, "Oh yeah, Sue drinks yerba mate every morning," and so the family was like, "What brand do you drink?" And I told them, and they were like, "Oh, that's strong." <laughs> when a Uruguayan tells you that your your brand of yerba mate is strong, it's pretty strong. So I was drinking a very strong brand of yerba mate. I was drinking a lot of it, and so I was consuming a ton of caffeine. And so I just stopped and it took a good week of feeling pretty sick um, to kind of get past that and feel better. Um, so I now consume no caffeine at all, very rare alcohol. Um, and I, I do generally eat a pretty mild diet. So how do I get energy if I don't consume caffeine? Because a lot of people get their energy from their morning cup of coffee. They have another coffee or a soda in the middle of the afternoon when that 2 p.m. slump comes. So how do I get my energy? Well, okay. So I start with a good gulp or several gulps of alkaline water. Now I drink Essentia. Um, I also can, this is the one I'm drinking today. It is an alkaline level of nine point, let me see that, 9.5. Um, and that's super alkaline. I know that it's true because I actually bought a pH meter and tested it and it was really accurate. Um, I also know that Trader Joe's alkaline water is very alkaline, tested by me personally. And there are some other waters that are supposed to be alkaline, but aren't. And so, um, 
I can only vouch for these two. So I take a big gulp of room temperature water. I have talked generally kind of sensitive teeth, so cold water is not great for me. So I take a big few gulps of just room temperature water. That's the first thing I do in the morning. Um, I also, I'm on medicine right now, um, and it's helping a lot. And um, my doctor tells me I won't be on it forever, so that's my hope because I try to stay off medications. Um, but then I have a really healthy, mild breakfast. So um, another thing I learned was that the kind of food I ate made a difference to how I felt. Um, and, and I guess that's probably obvious, but, um, but I started really dialing into that. Now I should say before I go any further that I'm not a medical professional. Um, and you should always check with your doctor before you follow any of the recommendations that anyone on YouTube or anywhere else makes. Uh, so please, before you follow any of my advice or recommendations or anything that I'm telling you works for me, check with your doctor because I, am not a, a I mean I'm a, a tr I'm a trained wellness coach but that doesn't make me a medical professional so make sure you check with your doctor before you do anything that I recommend in this video I don't think your doctor will have a problem with you drinking more water and I don't think your doctor will have a problem with you eating healthier foods and I don't think your doctor will have a problem with the third suggestion I'll make but um, anyway the question right now is what do I do so I take a big gulp of this water um, or several gulps. And then my breakfast is one piece of um, Ezekiel bread, toasted. That's a sprouted grain bread. Um, and it's not made with wheat. It's made with sprouted wheat and other grains. And it's really, really good for you. Um, so I eat one piece toasted. I take a quarter of an avocado and I spread that. I mush it up and I spread it on the, um, on the bread, on the toast. Um, and one of these days I'll do a video on how I perfectly ripen my avocados. This is going to be a lifestyle show. You'll see there's going to be a lot here that's not just business. It's not just coachy stuff. It's full life show. Okay. It's a full life show. So, um, so then I put my avocado on my toast and then I put a nicely poached egg on top of that. And then I make a little smoothie. Um, I put like three or four small frozen cubes of mango. I then add like two cups of spinach and then like an eighth of papaya. And then I put about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of honey, uh, about a cup of um, almond milk. And then I fill the, the cup up with the essential water um, and then I blend it and that's my breakfast. Um, what I have found is that if I eat too many carbs in the morning, uh, I'm a little tired not short, shortly after. Um, if I balance that with some fat and protein, not only do I not get that slump and that sleepy factor, but I also find that it sustains me longer through the day. So, you know, it's been a good four and a half, five hours since I had breakfast and I'm, I'm still great. I don't need to eat. I'm not hungry. I'm fine. So that'll sustain me until lunch. And then, you know, for lunch, I'll have a nicely balanced meal as well. At dinner, I just have a giant salad. I don't eat after 6 p.m. ever. It helps me sleep better. It helps my GERD. Um, and so there are a lot of reasons why it's great for me not to eat after 6 p.m. Um, it's also something that is considered to be an intermittent fast. So I stop eating at 6 p.m., but I get up at 6 p.m., so that's a good 12 hours before I, where I don't eat throughout the day. That's called an intermittent fast. So that works pretty well. Um, so those are two big things that I do is, you know, I balance my food and I have, you know, a nice, you know, jug of water. I try to drink one of these, um, what is this? 50.7 fluid ounces. I try to drink one of these a day, but I'll tell you what, um, I've dug into the research on this whole drink eight glasses of eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. And that's actually, there's no research to support that. There's no research out there. It's a good rule of thumb that doctors sort of picked up on. Um, and they recommend, but there's actually no tangible research that shows that's what we should be drinking. I drink what my body wants. Um, I try to drink, you know, one of these giant bottles a day because um, I think it's good for me. It helps me. It seems to help my skin. But in general, I just drink what my body tells me it wants. So water and nutrition. The third thing is um, I've noticed that exercise makes a huge difference with my energy levels. 
So I have in my home, I have a treadmill desk and then I have um, a bicycle desk. So I have these um, at my disposal. I haven't used them much recently. Now I film, I'm actually standing on my treadmill desk right now. So I film on my treadmill desk, which is good because it keeps me standing, it keeps my energy levels up. Um, you can't see the treadmill, but I'm standing on it. Um, so my plan now that I'm feeling better is to get back into those again. So we, my husband and I agreed we were gonna go on a bike ride yesterday. And so we agreed we were gonna ride two and a half miles. And Gus rides in a basket on my bike. And he's about 13 pounds now. So um, I rode two and a half miles with an extra 13 pound load. And I was tired at the end. And we'd had a really nice time though. I mean, it was a beautiful day. And my husband said, don't you wanna go just another one? I said, no, I don't. I really don't. I really don't wanna go another one. But I agree. So I pushed my, you know, he was very supportive, very encouraging. And so I pushed myself and I went, I did another mo. So we rode a total of five miles, which for a lot of people is not a big deal, but for somebody who's been sitting on the couch a lot, it's a big, it's a big deal. And so I felt really good after that. And, and I, you know, before we left, I was tired. I didn't want to go, but he was so enthusiastic about it and I didn't want to let him down. And, you know, it's good for Gus to go on the bike ride because he gets a little worn out because it's so exciting and a tired puppy is a good puppy, a happy puppy. So, um, so I did it for them. And then when I came back, I was so glad that I had done it. I had so much energy and I'm pretty sure that's why I have energy today because I exercised yesterday. So I think exercise is a great thing for energy. So, so that's something else that I do. Um, and that I'm planning to implement, uh, as we go along. And in fact, um, my thing that I'm putting out here today to you is I'm starting regular exercise again, and I haven't for a while, so I'm putting this out there on my show so that maybe you guys will ask me questions about it. Will you ask me in the comments now and then if I don't give you regular updates, hey, how's that exercise going? How are you doing with that? Ask me how it's going because um, I really want to start exercising more. I'm, I'm in desperate need of accountability when it comes to this stuff, so... Um, be my accountability partner, ask me how it's going. And also coming up, we're gonna have some more fitness professionals on the show, some people who are really exciting and interesting, because I wanna make sure that we focus on sort of the health perspective, where we really include fitness and, and wellness and, and health as a part of this show. I think it's really important stuff. Um, so that's question number one, what do I do? Oh no, there's one more thing I do. Um, I also work really hard to get a good night's sleep. Um, and that means I use a blue light filter on my phone, but I also think that um, it's good to, you know, shut off your phones and be relaxed. Most important is to have a good bed, a good mattress, um, to have the right temperature that helps you sleep well. Everybody's a little different. Um, to stop eating early. Uh, I don't eat after 6 p.m. I think I mentioned that. So that your body isn't digesting. Um, I don't consume, well, I don't consume caffeine at all anymore, but for many, many years, I stopped consuming caffeine after 5 p.m. Um, and I recommend that to everyone, that you just don't, don't consume caffeine after 5 p.m. because it'll start keeping you awake. Um, I, I also stopped drinking alcohol before bed because there's a substance, particularly in wine, that it makes you feel sleepy, but then shortly after it wakes you right up. So it really disrupts your sleep cycle. So there are a lot of different things that, um, that you can do to improve your sleep. Um, and a lot of things that will help you sleep better, a good pillow, you know, those kinds of things. Um, and if you are really struggling to sleep, melatonin's great, um, but again, consult your doctor before you start any of these things that I'm recommending. Um, so that's what I do to have more energy. Um, as far as what I think other people should do, any of these things could work, but you really have to experiment. I tend to experiment with a lot of things, um, I experiment with food constantly. I experiment with all kinds of different um, lifestyle shifts and tweaks. I'm constantly trying to look and see, well, would this work better? Would that work better? Um, and, and so I recommend that you become your own best experiment. You become your own sort of science project and try different things and see what works for you. Um, if any of these things work for you, I'd love to hear about it. But again, consult your doctor before you take my recommendations because I'm not a qualified medical professional 
who can give you medical advice. Um, but like I said earlier, I don't think your doctor is going to complain about you eating healthier, drinking more water, and exercising more. In fact, that's probably the best medicine there is. So um, that those are my two questions for today. What do I do to maintain energy, um, including what am I going to do? And I hope you'll keep me accountable, as well as what can you do? So I hope this was helpful for you today. If it is, give me a thumbs up and subscribe because this show is going to take an interesting turn. We're going to have so many different topics, but, um, but yeah, if you like the show, please subscribe. Don't miss these episodes and thanks for watching.